G'day, Lee Blackall. It's been a while. This is a screen recording about how to solve the problem uh, of the YouTube webcam record feature cutting off your video. It seems to cut off quite a large chunk from the end after the video has been processed. You can see here there's a few videos complaining about this same problem and as far as I can find there hasn't been a solution posted to any of the forums. Have a listen to this uh, and you'll get an idea what the problem is. get the idea. We encountered this very same problem with Robin McConnell, a lecturer here, who is, uh, dis has decided to use YouTube um, to broadcast, uh, record and broadcast mini lectures uh, each week. Uh, we initially, we plugged in the webcam, hit record or hit upload on YouTube, selected the option to record from the webcam and uh, you know it's all very straightforward and would be very easy except that the recording uh, up on YouTube was being cut off. So one of the workarounds um, is to use the f um, basic video editor that comes standard on most Windows computers um, and or, or um, a Macintosh computer, except here at the University of Canberra, for whatever reason, we don't have the Windows Movie Maker uh, installed here. I put a request in and um, the response was that there wasn't enough demand from lecturers for such a feature, which I found surprising. They also suggested that um, the lecture recording system here, Echo 360, would do the same thing and uh, I, I couldn't see that and nor could a lot of people I, I asked about. So we're back to trying to work out a way to get a simple webcam recording up on YouTube without the clipping. So I took a look at Ustream, which is mostly um, used for live streaming. So like a YouTube, but it's for live streaming, but it also has a record. Uh, function. Uh, you can, we can get my recordings here. I haven't used it that much. I've just done a couple of recordings from the mobile phone. Um, <coughs> here's, one, here's one loading from the webcam, actually a test job. And if you scroll down through the video recordings, here it is. You can forward it through to you. Excuse me. You can forward it through to YouTube, and it gets through to YouTube without the clipping. Now, how do you forward it through to YouTube? Well, okay, so you sign into Ustream, you go, to, you click your user account, and you get all these uh, tabs here. There's all the main tabs across the top, and then there's these sub tabs across the bottom, and there's one for YouTube. So you have to have an account on YouTube, you have to have an account on Ustream, and you set your Ustream up to forward through to your YouTube account. And then every time you record a video, and I'll show you how to do that, you click Broadcast now, and it pops up a new window. Obviously, you've got your webcam plugged in. I don't have a webcam plugged in here, so uh, you're not going to see a picture would normally pop up here. And uh, when the webcam is active, you can start broadcast. Click that, and that'll start live broadcasting to Ustream. And then you start record, and that will make a recording to your channel on Ustream. Stop record, then stop broadcast. What we'll then do, that's looking for the webcam. I'll just deny that. What, what will then happen is you'll have a tab up here. Just here, we'll say... Uh, video details. Oh no, first of all you get the video here and you just press save and then you get a tab here to enter in the title, description, etc. and an option to forward through to YouTube. Now if you don't see that option or you don't want to do it straight away, you can um, save the video, close that down, go to your videos and there's your video stacking up here and here's the one that we're de adding, editing details to and like I said down the bottom it um, forwards it through to YouTube. Now I've since deleted this clip off YouTube so you won't be able to see that example but exactly the same process is happening with uh, Robin McConnell. In fact I'll just go to... Uh, let me think... Uh, how do I get through to Robin McConnell? I'll just try this. Robin McConnell... Yep, here we are. Uh, no we're not. Oh, sorry, can't be found so I have another search here. Robin... Should have had his um, page at the ready. Um, okay, might be spelling wrong here. I won't waste too much more time looking for him. But he's definitely on Ustream here. He might have um, made himself invisible or, or I'm spelling his name wrong. Oh yes, there it is, spelling wrong. Okay. 
here he is. His channel is, or his, um, yeah, his channel is called Sports Sponsorship and Media. It's a course he's running here. And here we are at his channel. And uh, somewhere here, there it is down the bottom, the off-air recordings. Here they are here. Click one up. Here's the latest one, Advertising, Public Relations and Grants. Only had two views so far, which is... Oh, that's because maybe the YouTube, Ustream is not the primary place for viewing the videos, but here it is on Ustream, and here it is on uh, YouTube. Okay. And you can see this one's had 22 views, which is about half of his class was updated yesterday. Okay, so that's good. So what we're getting through, through via Ustream is a recording on Ustream that can be easily forwarded through to YouTube. The YouTube clip is not cl um, cut off by the uh, webcam recording. We're not having to use any software or install any software on our computers so long as the flash players are working and installed. Um, and uh, then what he does, obviously, is he picks up the embed code for this um, particular video and he places it into his Moodle. Here we are in week two and there's the video embedded in his Moodle and a link there. Now the other thing that is that YouTube gives you a nice little MP4 download. Um, so the final thing he does is he downloads that um, MP4 to his course folder and so we have a nice backup system. We've got a version on Ustream, we've got a version on YouTube and we've got an MP4 down on his course folder for um, offline backup. So I think it's a good little workaround. No software, uh, just a webcam like was originally intended and we're working around the YouTube problem.